So when we're outside, we will put a tarp down on the floor generally for the children to sit on to eat snack. We'll bring out plates or bowls or whatever's appropriate for the type of food that we're serving, and we'll bring out the food in a cool bag to keep it at the correct temperature. We serve everything with washed hands. The children wash their hands before snack, and they know that that's part of our routine as well. Um, if appropriate, we might use gloves. There's no requirement to, but because we're in the outdoors, if we know that perhaps the, um, the children might have used up all the water in the sink with hand washing for other reasons, then we could use gloves if we needed to as well. So we make sure everything's protected that way. Well, everything that came out of the cool bag goes back into the cool bag. If it's banana skins or peelings or whatever it might be, it all goes back into the cool bag. Um, and then once we're back at our base, we've got a composting caddy. So we put all of the compostable waste in the composting caddy and the other waste has to go into the, the main rubbish bin, but there's slightly less of that. And we've been working with the local organisation, Reap Scotland, who actually come and collect our compostable waste from us. And she comes on a, on a special bike that carries the composting caddies and takes their waste away and they take it to the main compost bins. So we had one child that was a very fussy eater. She wouldn't eat with any of the children. She was very shy. We were harvesting some of our fruit one day um, from a raspberry bush. Everyone was taking the raspberries quickly, so she didn't miss out. She grabbed one and ate it and she just she didn't even realise she was eating. So it's great to see the children eating things that they wouldn't always try in their natural environment. There's no pressure on them.